So, hey guys, before I get going recording this, um, this is your buddy Will with Casserole Disaster. I'm doing this live via Periscope uh, for some reason. Saturday, it's snowing out, it's stupid. And um, just kind of showing people how the sausage is made, I guess. And uh, so what you see on the other end is like after I've uh, babbled on for hours on like a particular topic and then I got you know chop it up and then add music to it and videos and things like that that's what you get but tonight we're gonna be doing something a little different I'm gonna be recording this here so you'll see something actually different on YouTube but you at home on Periscope will see how it's actually made which is weird back to the show Hey guys, this is your buddy Will with Casserole Disaster and it is not the 2018 Halloween Hell Show yet, but what we are doing is we're doing another unboxing from Matt over at Dinosaur Dracula, uh, awesome website, he used to run X Entertainment, which a lot of people have followed over from, uh, he's also the co-host with Jay from the Sexy Armpit and ThePurpleSuck.com, but if you haven't uh, subscribed to that podcast and you're avid podcast listeners, I encourage you to do that because it's great. Also give them like a, a good shout out on iTunes because apparently that goes a long way. Uh, getting them, you know, moved up in the iTunes world. I don't know that element of that because I'm not a podcaster, but apparently that's a pretty big thing. So if you can do that, that'd be great. So anyway, delving into it. Matt puts together every month an amazing uh, box of fun. I mean, that's what it is. It's a fun pack. So uh, I try every month to unbox this on video, but time is what it is. And uh, this month I just happen to have a lot of free time. So, so this unboxing, I'm actually going to blend a little bit from back in the day in Veggie Macabre when I used to do these... Uh, movie reviews which I love certain movies especially nostalgic part of the movies where I uh, it's it's history it's what formed me it's what shaped me it's what grafted my movies from it's why I'm a geek and I talked about them but at the same time I reviewed a beer and a hot sauce hot sauce pretty fun you know it's a uh, it's a cool thing to get uh, well really to embarrass yourself with if you're going to do it on a video but I mean I love the people that make that they put a lot of creative effort into it and you can absolutely see that especially when um, when they're naming them a lot of them have to do with butts which is weird so before we get going on this I'm definitely going to delve into the beer that is the beer of the day which we'll see here And today is a super scary, creepy, weird beer called Black Widow Porter. And it is cold and gnarly out. Anyway, um, this porter looks fantastic. The label itself is just goddamn gorgeous. It's an eye Black Widow body and it's got creepy legs. One of those spiders that I hate that actually have joints that you can see. Ah, so gross. And then uh, flames coming out from it. So we'll see here. Now, if you guys, like I said, if you're, I'm doing this live via Periscope. So if you see me kind of look over here and talk to somebody out in the corner, I didn't edit that out. There's not actually a person here. I wish there was. That'd be a whole lot cooler if they were here. But, you know, here's to you. And here's to Dinosaur Dracula and the fun pack of March. Man, that's really good. That's like vanilla ice cream while you're at a campfire. So the very first thing, which is kind of the flagship portion of this video is a 1984 Masters of the Universe Snake Busters Hot Wheel car, which is crazy that he was able to get these because I remember when these came out, I was a very little kid. The uh, <laughs> yeah, Hot Wheels, right? Uh, 
you used to get these sets, like, I remember that, I even had a few of them. The commercials were amazing, though. I mean, Hot Wheels commercials, especially the tracks and the, and the sets and those sort of things were just fantastic. And they always had one of those, like, dippy kids that would, I don't know, um, Masters of the Universe always had them, Star Wars always had them, you know, G.I. Joe always had them, where you had, like, two kids playing and then that one kid who was, like, the bad guy that would just talk shit to his other friends that you could tell that that kid, like, the parents may have talked and said, hey, listen, um, Gene or whoever isn't getting along in school, can he come over to play? And then he comes over to play and the other two kids are like, hmm, all right. What evil secrets lurk inside Snake Mountain? Many have tried to find out. Few have made it. <laughs> the Hot Wheels Snake Mountain Challenge. You put it together. With more power, nothing can stop the Snake Buster. Oh, yeah. Try this. Pretty snakey. Yeah. Hot Wheels Snake Mountain Challenge set comes with Snake Buster car and everything you see here. Some sets not for use with some cars. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel. Back on track. This is an exclusive car from that uh, set, so you had to buy the whole set. So I'm, I imagine back in the day it probably retailed anywhere between $25 and $30. You'll see the commercial here that I'll put on there, so you can see the whole set. But Matt, somehow, I don't get it, was able to get an actual vehicle from that set, which was GoPro. The uh, top lid opens, so uh, a tiny Skeletor He-Man person could get in there, maybe. Oh my god, dude. Didn't have to get the whole track set. I don't remember back in the day if I ever wanted it. I wasn't a He-Man fan. I was more of a G.I. Joe Star Wars person. I feel that the smaller characters versus the big sets were a little bit more uh, scalable. I guess, for lack of a better term, but uh, but this is cool. This is cool to actually have a uh, a real piece of history for a Hot Wheels that came with a set. And I don't have to have the set and all the tracks that get bent and twisted and end up in a pile of mess somewhere to be lost forever. So, and it comes in a cool little box with a Dinosaur Dracula sticker, and that in itself is amazing. Uh, another really cool thing about, you know, of course, Dinosaur or Dracula's Fun Pack is all these wicked awesome, uh, you know, tops trading cards that you have. You know, awesome cards that you can collect, you can give away. I like to give these things away. I think it's really cool to kind of like include these things like in birthday presents or care packs and things like that. So people are just always questioning your sanity. Especially when it comes to business to business type relationships where you're just like, hey, thank you for your continued business with us. Here is um, included with this gift card um, Fleer Ultra Skeleton Warrior Premium Edition Pack. And just don't say anything else. I don't know why I'm still employed there, but whatever. And holy shit. Okay, so this is amazing. This is one of my favorite things. Yeah, 1980s charm market, um, or supermarket charms. Dyslexia, it's finest. I remember these so damn well. Um, being a little kid, and I think this might be a mistake, but I got two of them, um, of these little charms that you can wear, random food items. I mean, these are random food items that Back then, it seems kind of silly, but we were into that. Like, these charms actually could only, um, are charms to us, but actually might be wing-wing size, so. So, <laughs> this isn't going to make it around my head. Yep, there it is. Never ending story. And uh, 
the princess was like asking uh, Sebastian like what her name is like what's my name which today does not translate very well but look at this this right here is worth its weight in gold um, probably more so because it's paper but um, an actual official 1984 from Columbia Pictures but this is this is legit like this is the real thing it says I've been slimed which was not a quote from Ghostbusters this was uh, just something that uh, Peter Venkman had coined I guess because he said he slimed me he slimed me uh, I've been slimed which is great that is so cool Ferrari stickers okay so notice the reflective capability of these sort of things a little insider baseball I just started my own company and a lot of our marketing materials are made of this which I'm super stoked about but the fact that these Ferrari stickers oh I'm getting nervous about this okay so the next series on this video is brought to you by Tito's Vodka who makes these super cute little sweaters Just kidding, we're not brought to you by anybody other than myself. And um, so a really good friend of mine, uh, sent me this hot sauce. Now I uh, have a particular love for hot sauce and uh, I like the, the origins behind it, how people come to make it because there's thousands of independent distributors out there this one um, is a little scary. It's uh, as, re um, as Reaper. 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 It's as Reaper. Hashtag, uh, that's your as now hot sauce. And it is a, uh, it's a legit Reaper. It's a skeleton. So, uh, so I figured that I would periscope this with this video and show you that this is very much real and unfortunate. It's been a long Saturday. Matt always includes yeah, like some sort of edible item in his fun pack, which is really cool. Uh, usually they're chips or, you know, I don't know, something. But today he uh, included potato sticks. Potato sticks are great um, if they come in like, I, I think uh, Planters had potato sticks, you know, which makes it kind of nostalgic. These always feel like that they're on the bottom of the bag, that they're just a bunch of crumbs. To me, I got to go back in the day to uh, the original Review the World of My Buddy Brian and Wrap Snacks. Wrap Snacks brought to you especially by uh, Romeo Miller, which he was one of the original ones, which if you remember Lil Romeo, L-I-L, Romeo. Uh, my buddy Brian, this is how he cut his teeth, being, you know, the YouTube star that he is. And apparently, like, these are made with, like, um, his actual honey. So I'm guessing that Romeo Miller is, uh, like, he has bees. <sighs> now, before I do this, I got to warn you, I wouldn't recommend doing this, like, to anybody. But before I finish the end of the fun pack, I got to do this under duress. And uh, the only way to do that is to talk about As, as Reaper. <laughs> as Reaper. Jalapeno peppers. Habanero peppers. So, you know, going up a little bit. African Olorison. Um, that sounds bad. Now I'm nervous. Anything that comes from Africa is like super tough. So, all right. Um, Scotch bonnet, salt, onion, vegetable oil. Da 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 da. da. So I don't know what uh, other than the basic peppers are. I don't know what the African oloresin is sounds terrible and it sounds like it's gonna hurt real bad. 
Dude. That's something. Um, <clears throat> lost my train of thought. I took this thing off and I absolutely like spaced. As Reaper, that's your as hot sauce is. Oh yeah, so I'll go through the rest of this box, I guess, and uh, while I'm jumping around with my head on fire, so. So, um. Whew. So, nutritional facts, serving size, one tablespoon. So, I'm putting in uh, an actual tablespoon that you can see live. So I'm not editing this out. So I'm not, you know, cheating the system. And uh, I can smell this like way far away. And uh, so yeah, so I've got a few more items to review here. And uh, I will do this uh, with As Reaper sauce. Covering my palate. Here's you guys. Mmm. Uh. Oh. Usually that doesn't hit so hard right at the beginning. <laughs> that really hit really tough right away. Uh. <laughs> good oh my goodness okay so on top of your subscription to uh, Matt's fun pack you get a, an actual newsletter that de describes everything that you get oh, I forgot to talk about the car that comes with uh, yeah it comes with stink mountain which is the name of uh, the set that you get with a fucking car. <clears throat> Alright, we're good. So yeah, you get this and you get like an individual autograph, you know, Matt says that. The one thing I really love about this is getting exclusive uh, memories uh, thing and an art challenge that you can submit on social media. And then he has, you know, his standard awesome tiny poster that you have that you can collect. And I've got a whole bunch of them that I'm gonna display here at the office. And of course, a bunch of stickers, so. <clears throat> Fuck, man. This thing doesn't doesn't lie. It is uh whew. Man, that is painful. Ow. Uh suck it up. Suck it up, dude. Alright. Mind over matter. Beer over matter. Hey guys, so uh we just unboxed the Dinosaur Dracula fun pack for March and uh, it's already sold out so you can't get this one however you can get the April one by signing up uh, straight through uh, PayPal and go to the link below in the YouTube channel and make sure that uh, you hang out on Dinosaur Dracula especially Dino After Dark they got a whole forum there uh, the purple stuff with Jay and Matt definitely do that like I said go to iTunes subscribe and hit them up with a great review because it's fantastic and uh, don't be like me and make stupid videos like this where you're chugging hot sauce just for views.